is super quiet. Fifty Two Pi has dropped us off his ultimate cool fan kit, high level open source hardware. Inside, you will see a little package like this. Let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see what's inside. All right. So inside, you have a little piece of foam for protection. You have the dual fan with a solid heat sink on here. So that's actually really cool. It's a solid heat sink, two fans on top. And they give you this little cooling pad here that's double-sided tape. I have a couple here. Uh, a couple different heat sinks. I have uh, Arctic 5, Arct Arctic Silver 3. I have some other stuff. I'm going to go ahead and do 5 because it's the best out there. And uh, just going to put some on the processor here. Good amount. I'm going to go with the squishing approach. I'm going to squish it on there after and spread it out. And then some on the there. Okay, cool. Really dirty, I know. But uh, it should be alright once we put this on. And then, I mean, you can have it go either way. I kind of like it here because you have plenty of space still. So, and then now you have a couple options how you want to line it up. Um, I'm just going to kind of hunker it down, get it as close to the, um, as close to this port as you can. This port's going to be your limiting factor right here, the camera port. And uh, I'm going to have it rest actually up against the, the USB ports a little bit there. And you can see it covers up the Raspberry Pi logo. And then uh, you should just have to plug it into the second to last port there. Is that when you only use thermal paste, it is going to slide a little bit. But once you have it in the case, it should settle just fine. All right, so we have it on. Um, you want the, on the GPIO ports here, on the GPIO ports over here, you're going to have, you want it on the back row. Red goes on the second pin, and then black goes on the third pin. Okay? And there you go. There you have it. It's on there now. And then last thing, we're just going to plug this in, put a little power on it so you can hear what it, how loud it is. Super quiet. Wow. You can see it's still a much smaller fan than the Tiny Tendo fan. Um, let's just unplug that really quick. If we were to do like the Tiny Tendo, Tiny Tendo fan also very quiet. So credit to ETA Prime, he already ran the tests on this, so rather than running the same tests again, I'm gonna let him get the glory here. Um, as you can see with the small heat sink that you get with these can of kits and things like that on the left, and then over on the right, the dual fan, as you can see there's like almost a, what is that, four, 16 and a half or more degrees Celsius difference. Super good performance, awesome. As you saw from the previous video, they're very quiet. Um, they're very, very quiet fans. You can see the Tiny Tendo, I showed you mine before. It also fits in the, um, the, the NES Classic case as well. Does he have it here? Yeah, he does. There it is in the NES Classic Nest Pie case that everyone loves. And, uh, but at the end of the video, he agrees, and I do too, that the BQ or the Flirk 2 or any of the aluminum cases are going to do a better cooling job than, the, um, than this fan itself. The only thing to keep in mind with these is that it does block your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi signal, so it's not gonna be as powerful once they're in there. That is a big downside to these cases. So getting this fan instead would still give you the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signal while cooling. So here's the fan. There's a link in the description if you're interested. Thank you for 52 Pi to giving it to me. This was given to me for review, and I have to agree, it's really nice, really cool, compact. It even comes with that adhesive. Um, but with the uh, thermal grease, you will get the best performance. So do keep that in mind. But otherwise, um, these are your options. It's a great option. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.